Okay, before I explain the experiment to you, a couple of administrative things to take care of. Uh, first of all, there will be a quiz this week. We, we do a quiz at the beginning of every week uh, covering the lab that you did last week. And that quiz is practice or testing on the kinds of calculations and reasoning that would go into that lab. So there will be a quiz. Now, instead of having it for 15 minutes at the beginning of the period, there's no time limit. Well, there's a longer time limit. So the quiz will become available Monday night, Monday, Monday evening, and you download it and print it, and you work on it. You write it out the same way you would with a, with a quiz. And then to submit it, you scan it with a phone and upload it to Blackboard. Now that's going to take a while, and I'm actually happy that you could have more time than is available in the, in the lab to do the quiz. So you'll have until Wednesday at 5 o'clock to um, complete the quiz, scan it, and upload it. And if you have any problems with any of those steps, let me know. Work on your own. Don't look, you can use your lab report. You can use the, the handout or your lab notebook um, to do the quiz. Okay, second of all, the, the lab itself is due on Wednesday at 5 o'clock. You turn it in on, on Blackboard by uploading a PDF, please, a PDF version of your, of your lab report. And then I'll have it online, and I'll, I'll be able to mark it up and grade it. And I'll be able to give you feedback, too. I'm happy about how uh, the online grading system lets me give you feedback, kind of like I do uh, writing on the pages. But I think this might actually be able to be better. I may keep it after we're, we're done here. Um, it, it, I don't really have to say it, but I will. There's no more notebook inspection because I can't see your notebook. There's no way that I can think of to inspect it. I hope you learned how to create a, uh, and maintain a scientific notebook. I hope you see that the rules that I listed here have a reason, that there's a purpose for doing things the way they are. And I hope you have a good organized notebook for taking data because when you're watching these videos, it should be very easy to just go through and record the data in your notebook and then go on and analyze the data and write your report like you would have even if you couldn't be in the lab to take the data. Okay, so if you've skimmed the lab handout first, we'll take a look next at uh, what uh, the details of the physics of the lab and how you're going to do the lab.